What's up, y'all? It's your boy eBay Fight Predictions in the building, and we got some breaker, breaking, breaking news. Leon Edwards will fight Mr. Kumar Usman on August 20th on UFC 278 per Ariel Hawani. This is a great, phenomenal fight. I'm so effing happy that this fight's happening. I'm pretty sure everyone kind of knew this was gonna happen. Uh, but yeah, man, I'm, I'm actually really happy for my guy Leon to get this fight. And I think it's going to be a phenomenal fight. You know, uh, I know a lot of people think, you know, here's the thing. They think I hate on Usman and that's just not true. That's just, uh, it's just not true. I, I've given that guy his respect. He's a phenomenal fighter. He's a phenomenal fighter. Um, a once in a lifetime kind of guy, you know, what he's able to do. Uh, with his, I mean, in his prime, in my humble opinion, in his prime, what he was able to do to Rafael dos Anjos, Damian Maya, Tyron Woodley, you know, before Tyron Woodley fell off, right? Um, and then Colby, Co I mean, the Colby Covington victories have aged beautifully. The Gilbert Burns victory aged beautifully. I don't really give him too much credit for Jorge Masa, but what he was able to do to Jorge, the via the shock value, via the shock factor, I give him his credit, man. He's a good father. Um, He's great for the Nigerian people. I'm also, you know, African. Obviously, I'm from Eritrea. That's in East Africa. But still, I can respect that, you know. And there's people from where I'm from in Eritrea that have that have such a great admiration to see another African man, you know, from the continent of Africa do well. So I just want to say that, say that right now. But after giving him all them compliments, he's still a scammer boy. And that's never going to change, okay? He know what he's done. He's cheated a little bit. You know, he cheated with Damian Maya, right? He cheated with Kobe Covington in the first fight. He know didn't little little cheat. I mean, he didn't cheat against Damian Maya, but the ref obviously cheated for him. And then, you know, already know about the Kobe Covington stuff. You know, he's been scamming all his whole life. He, you know, some people suspect he's on steroids, but it is what it is. Um, I respect him. He's a great fighter, but Leon Edwards is going to beat him. That's how I feel. I don't even, if you know me, you know I don't give UK fighters credit. You know I don't give UK fighters credit. And y'all can say I be hating on Usman. I don't, man. When half of all you lunatics was picking Gilbert Burns, who was out here saying, Mr. Usman, Kumaruddin Usman is going to show that snake what's up? Who was saying that? It was me, right? You know, yeah, he did his thing against Jorge. I, I, you know, I picked him by third round TKO. Now, obviously, I said ground up pound, but I picked him by finish, you know? Not a lot of people did that. Let's, get, let's just get the facts straight. So before y'all call me a hater and say I'm hating on Usman and this and that, it is what it is. Leon Edwards is a great fighter. His chin might be a suspect, but he is a great fighter. I don't give UK fighters credit. You know me. The only guy I might give a little credit to is Tom Aspinall. And he's a, he's still 50-50 to me. I don't think he's going to be champ. I think he's going to lose to Cyril Gaon if they ever fight. And that's just a fact of life. You know what I'm saying? But Leon is the most complete MMA fighter out of the UK. You know, you know, if you know your boy eBay, he likes well-rounded fighters, right? The first time they fought, it was a close fight. Usman's wrestling was the X factor. Now they fight now. Where has where has the improvements been and where has the decline been? If you are a real critical fan of Usman, you know that there has been a decline in the grappling. This guy, I'm telling you, I don't like to admit this. When he beat Tyron Woodley, in my head, and I knew he was going to get matched up with Kobe Covington. I'm a Kobe Covington fan. Even though Kobe's a D1 wrestler, you got to give Usman his credit and his right. He was a, I mean, he, I mean, he's a former D2 national champion. And I love Kobe. Kobe's my guy. Kobe's my guy. You know what I'm saying? Kobe, he took fifth. Uh, in his national tournament, it was a great D1 wrestler. But really, that's based on grades and experience and coaching. And, you know, Usman started in high school, right? But my point is, in that moment where they were going to fight, I actually thought Usman had the better wrestling out of the two, right? Fast forward, they do their rematch. Colby, I know Colby shot for a lot of takedowns. Don't get it twisted. Usman took him down. Don't get it twisted. But Colby was able to take him down. I don't care what nobody says. He was able to take him. That was a takedown. I never thought I could see Kobe do that. I never thought he could do that. Now, if you watch my breakdown, I did say he's going to have to do that. But I knew it was going to be hard. 
He made it a little easier than I thought he could. And what I'm seeing is a decline. Go look at his Jorge Masvidal fight. There's a decline in his wrestling. Jorge has good wrestling. Right, he does. But there has been a decline in Usman's wrestling. What have you seen in Leon Edwards' fights? What has been the number one thing that has improved? He's always had good striking, good timing. He's always been that kind of guy. What have you seen? He's upgraded his grappling to another level. I do not think Usman will shoot for one takedown. I think he is so deluded. And I love the guy. He's a great father. He's a great man. He is so deluded. He believes he is the best striker in that division. And I have no problem with self-belief. Chris Weidman was able to knock out Anderson Silva. Doesn't mean he was the best striker in that division. At one point in time, they considered Masvidal the best boxer at 170. Just because Usman knocked him out does not mean you have the best hands, my guy. This is MMA. Use your full skill set. Don't forget what got you to the dance, and he has forgotten it. He is going to be known as a wrestler that fell in love with his hands. All Leon has to worry about is that right hand and that jab. That's it. If he can get out of the way of the reach, attack those legs. Those knees are weak. Them knees are weak. Oblique kicks are right there for the taking. This is a winnable matchup. I'm telling you guys, Leon has a chance. All right? And I'm rooting for Leon because, man, he's... Man, look at his backstory, man. This kid has fought for everything, not only just in the UFC, but in life, right? If you know what he's been through, you know it. This is going to be a fucking war, man. This is going to be my time or, or Usman's time. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be either Leon's time or Usman's. That's what I mean. I'm telling you right now, on August 20th, UFC 278, it will be Jamaica's time. And sadly, it will be the UK's time, Birmingham time, to stand the fuck up because it will be and new. And there probably will be a trilogy. But in the rematch, I got Leon Edwards winning this fight, probably by decision, or I could see him finishing Usman. I could see it. I could see it. You know? Keep talking about Canelo. Keep talking about Canelo. Keep talking about other people. Don't talk about Leon. Leon, easy money. If. I want him to be like that. I want him to be like that because when he loses, I am going to laugh at all of you. Usman's a great fighter. I'm not taking nothing away from him. He's the second greatest welterweight champion of all time. And he's a fucking, don't get it twisted. He's a first round Hall of Famer. I have nothing but respect for that man. Even though he's a scammer boy, I have nothing but respect for him. But Leon, 50-45 maybe. Maybe 49-46. But Leon all the way by decision and new. Love y'all. Goodbye. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm out of here. Go go follow me on my Instagram and my Twitter. Links in the bio. Not in the bio. In the description box. Like, comment, and subscribe. Let's get this eBay Fight Prediction Nation growing. Love y'all. And goodbye.